How to make a horizontal axis wind turbine using PVC pipe? A wind turbine has four main components the propeller, gear and dynamo assembly, your mechanism and a tail, and the tower. Among these, propeller is the most important and difficult component to make. Let's make a wind turbine propeller first. Buy a 1 meter length 12 inch diameter PVC pipe and cut three pieces of blades as shown in the video. The top edge to length to bottom edge ratio is 1 is to 20 is to 3. The ratio is not de derived from any equation but my imagination to make the blades look exactly like an original wind turbine. You must be very careful when dealing with an angle grinder. I strongly recommend you to ask a professional to do it for you, especially if you are under 15 years old. Use a drill machine to make holes at the wire end of the blades. These holes are used to screw it to the turbine hub. The propeller is what converts energy in the wind to rotational motion. You can easily make a hub for your project by using L clamps, round GI plate, nut, etc. Use a welding machine to fasten these parts together. Be very careful when using an arc welding machine. Don't forget to wear eye protection glasses, hand gloves, welding shield for making your work environment safe. Safety should be our primary priority, right? Another thing I would like to remind you is that I have experience with an angle grinder, so sometimes I use angle grinders without the guard. I recommend you to use them always for your safety. By the way, wind turbine hub is ready. Now is the time to fix the blades on the hub using cycle screws. Your mechanism is used in a horizontal axis wind turbine to automatically adjust the wind turbine propeller position so that it will face the wind all the time. To implement your mechanism in the project, I use a Johnson wheel. Fix the Johnson wheel bearing at the top of a tower on which we are going to fix propeller, dynamo and gear. I use two bearings and a piece of GI pipe to easily fix the propeller gear assembly on the tower. Watch carefully how I managed to fix the dynamo, gears and propellers. This rotational motion created by the rotation of the propeller is not enough to generate a substantial amount of electricity. Even in the case of real wind turbine, that, that rotational motion is not enough to generate a substantial amount of electricity from the dynamo. The dynamo needs a higher rotation speed. So to do that, we use a kind of gearbox in between the propeller and the dynamo. Even in the real wind turbine, there is a gearbox, speed multiplying gearbox. Like that, I'm also using a kind of gearbox, kind of, kind of gear in my video, in my project. And I used uh, the cycle gears, uh, the pedal gear and the free wheel to multiply the speed.
to multiply the speed of propeller axis rotation, a cycle pedal gear and a freewheel of 40 teeth are used. Carefully fix the dynamo gears and chain on the Johnson wheel bearing arrangement. A Johnson wheel bearing arrangement is used here to enable the entire propeller, dynamo and tail to rotate freely around the axis horizontally. This arrangement and the tail is used for adjusting the propeller position. It is called yawing. The remaining component we need to make is a tail. Many many designs are available on the internet. Pick one, cut a piece of GI sheet in the shape of uh, that design by using snippers. Fix the sheet on a metal piece and screw it at the back side of the wind turbine. Our wind turbine is ready. Now is the time to test it. What is the purpose of your tail? You know, to get the maximum efficiency out of the wind turbine, the propeller has to face the wind all the time, right? If the wind is blowing from this side, the propeller has to face the wind this, this, this direction to get the maximum efficiency. And when the wind blows from this side, the tail is used to push the, push the propeller to face the wind. Right? You got it right. That is called yawing, yawing mechanism. That tail is the most important part of a yawing mechanism. But in modern wind turbines, you can't see a tail behind wind turbines because it is electronically and electrically controlled. But in uh, the traditional wind turbines, it was mechanically controlled, now it is electronically controlled. There is a small wind direction measuring instrument on top of modern wind turbines but it is more enough to get noticed that's why you can't see a tail behind it but there is this wind direction mechanism on top of the top of the casing turbine casing which will measure the, from which direction the wind is blowing and it will send signal to the electronic system to which direction the yawing mechanism to face the propeller right and there is another mechanism called pitch control mechanism. But I'm, I haven't implemented that mechanism into my project because I thought it is not necessary in my case. Okay, the pitch control mechanism is used to um, control the speed of the wind. The direction and the speed, wind direction and the wind speed changes all the time. The yoy mechanism is used to manage the wind direction and there is this pitch control mechanism to control the wind speed. The wind, when wind speed increases, the wind turbine propeller start to rotate in higher speeds. So to get a maximum, to get a uniform, not maximum, to get a uniform output out of the wind turbine dynamo, we need to reduce the speed of the propeller. To do that, where we have pitch control mechanism. Pitch means the angle of the propeller blade. This angle, angle to the propeller plane. Right? Understood? Then, when the wind speed increases, the pitch angle increases automatically. The wind turbine will measure. There is an equipment 
to measure the wind speed and it will automatically increase the pitch angle. When the pitch angle increases, the wind, the propeller speed decreases and your output, well, output voltage becomes normal to its normal. So when the wind speed decreases, the, the, the pitch control mechanism will understand that wind speed is decreasing and it will see, send signals to the uh, electronic systems and it will reduce the pitch angle, thereby increasing the propeller speed. So the pitch control mechanism is used to get a uniform output out of the wind turbine. So these are the main components and these are, this is the working of a horizontal axis wind turbine. And once the dynamo generates electricity, the electricity is sent back to sent down to the wind turbine base, there is a step up transformer which uh, step up the voltage to higher voltage which is convenient to uh, send to the grid. This is the working of a horizontal axis wind turbine and I'm very glad that you watched this video. I'm very happy. Thank you for watching and if you find this video useful please consider sharing this video with your friends and I'll create more and more and more project videos and explain how it works on this channel so don't miss it subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon right and a right side of the subscribe button then you will get notifications once i upload each video and the first video that is people started complaining that the trees and leaves behind the wind turbine is not moving but the wind turbine is working fast running faster how is this possible? If there is a wind, if there is wind, the trees and leaves are supposed to move, but they are not moving, wind turbine is running faster. This means I'm tricking them, I'm misleading people, I am um, using some kind of motor to rotate the wind turbine. That's what people start complaining, that start commenting that this video is fake, complete fake, and uh, this is not original and the wind turbine is not rotating because of wind there is no wind but the truth is in my native place there is no wind always so i used a table fan few meters away from the wind turbine to create to generate the wind to test my wind turbine that's a, that's a fact but i forgot to mention that in that video that's why I am adding this information in this video to um, as a confession 